Trevor Snar, movie star. Final report on the Sundance Film Festival with Trevor Snar coming up next. Trevor Snar, you might remember him from yes, yes. Yeah. Right. And we ran into Trevor Snar. Trevor Snar is best known for two things, being the son of Murray City's mayor and starring in Napoleon Dynamite. Now his friends might also tease him for being a crime fighter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the action film yes. hero, yes. Trevor Snar on Coming Star. This guy. Look right here where the robber kicked the front door and lots of damage to that. But the guy who came into this house had no idea what he was up against. I wrestled with him all the way to here. I threw him, threw, threw him up against the door and I just proceeded to scream for backup. So we recreated our own movie scene, so action. Uh, Lloyd. Shh. Just go. Oh, uh, Lloyd. Shh. Wendy Pepper. Wendy. If I don't, people will know you're scared. What if I don't? What are you scared? And what the hell is that smell? <laughs> I could have been at a barbecue! And what the hell is that smell? Sorry! <laughs> I'm supposed to be at a barbecue! <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Grab your own video camera, create your own movie magic. Dawn in the movie Napoleon Dynamite. This guy is a major Ute fan, so we decided to relive Napoleon Dynamite Ute style. Did you vote for Pedro? Heck, no, I didn't. Then who are you going to vote for? I'm voting for Pedro Sanchez. Who do you think? Heck, no, I didn't. What do you think? I actually do the Napoleon uh, impersonation a little bit better than my impersonation, which is just... <laughs> no, I didn't vote for Pedro. I voted for Summer Wheatley. Vote for Summer. Come on. So you, you're a U fan. Yeah, I, I was a U fan. Actually, my first semester uh, up at the U, uh, was when Napoleon was in uh, the theaters. Yes! I actually got out of uh, Utah Valley and I uh, was working at P.F. Chang's and that was my first movie. Hey, John. And I walked on, you know, campus and people were looking at me like, I think that's really the guy, you know? And then, anyways, there was one time and uh, I was in a class, big class, and a guy looked behind me and goes, were you really that guy in Napoleon Dynamite? And I was like, well, yeah, and then he goes, how much money did you make? I'm like, like a million dollars, what do you think? Because <laughs> really, I only, got paid, I only got paid $25 a day. That's what I'm talking about. My first semester uh, was when we went uh, undefeated with uh, Urban. Lucky. When, you know, I was really excited, and then uh, I will say this, so uh, my first time, I, well, I got a job with the state, and I said, I'm excited, I can now finally afford season tickets. And so I tried to get my dad down there to the Sugar Bowl. Bottom tickets, I said, all you have to do is fly yourself down there, and he wouldn't go. He thought that we were gonna lose. Oh. And I, I told him, I said, I'll forever hold this against you if we win, and we did. And I called him from the phone saying that we beat, just beat Alabama. And, Gosh, Dad, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Give me your one of your lines. Uh, hey, Napoleon, what'd you do all last summer again? Napoleon, what'd you do all last summer again? And then he's like, I was freaking hunting wolverines with my uncle in Alaska. With my uncle in Alaska, hunting wolverines. Did you shoot any? Did you shoot any? Yeah, like 50 of them. They kept on trying to attack my cousins. What the heck would you do in a situation like that? Like 50 of them. They kept trying to attack my cousins. What the heck would you do in a situation like that? And then I say, uh, what kind of gun did you use? And I like, freaking 12 gauge. What do you think? Freaking 12 gauge, what do you think? Oh, that is classic stuff. That is fun.